Hey everybody, thanks for clicking that thumbnail and welcome to Talking Habs, take three. Having trouble with my words today. So today's video, um, I'm gonna take a look at the Montreal Canadiens. I'm gonna give them um, an old school grade. So it's report card time. We are like just past, one game past the quarter mark of the season. And then after this, um, they're on a bye week right now. When they get back, it's like right till almost the end of the season. It is every, ga every uh, game every day or every second day. So it's a rough schedule uh, coming up. Um, not sure I'm going to have time to give them another report card till the end of the season. So um, I thought this is enough time. Let's see um, how they're doing. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. So before we get to that, if uh, you are new to the channel, uh, if you're a Habs fan like I am and you want to see uh, more content, more Habs content on a daily basis, um, well, almost every day, um, please subscribe. Ring that notifications bell. That's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talking Habs. And please leave a comment in the comment section. If you disagree with me, especially, uh, let me know if you agree. <laughs> and if you disagree, let me know where you disagree. And um, yeah, do that in the comment section. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and let's get right into it. So I've broken them down forwards, defense, goalies, special teams, uh, and the coach and GM and his staff. Um, and I'm going to give them grades, uh, you know, A, B, C, A plus, B plus, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so I'll give you a little explanation of why I'm doing that uh, for each person. And um, you let me know if you agree in the comment section. We'll get right into it and we're going to start alphabetically. Uh, makes it easier that way. So um, we're going to start with Josh Anderson. Josh Anderson is getting a grade of A. He has been... Everything he's, that's advertised, the good advertised. Um, all the question marks around him, uh, his shoulder, it's been good so far, obviously. Um, still early in the season. But uh, his hands, <laughs> can he score? Yes, he can. He's got uh, nine goals and two assists in 11 games, so he can score. Uh, and uh, Sorry, 11 points in 15 games. So I think that question's out. He's fast. And I don't have to say he's fast for a big guy because he's just playing out fast. So he's everything that we were hoping for. He's big, he's physical, and uh, yeah, he gets an A because his play, even on nights when Montreal doesn't look great, Anderson still looks good. So uh, yeah, Josh Anderson. Yol Armia gets a grade of B. Now, I could be wrong here. This is one I'm, I'm not sure maybe I'm under grading him, but now he did have the concussion, but he has uh, five points in eight games. Let me look what I wrote. Five points in eight games, and that's been good, and, but oddly, and I don't know how to explain it, I'm kind of expecting more. Do you guys agree with that? Anyways, let me know. Uh, so I gave him B. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It should be a B plus. You could maybe A minus, but I'm giving him a, a B. I don't know. Paul Byron. He's done the job defensively, so defensively he's been good. We also have to remember he's been strictly on the fourth line. Um, so, uh, but I'm still giving him a C. Uh, even though he's doing the job defensively, uh, his offense has not been there at all. And uh, he's right now he's on the taxi squad. So uh, hopefully he gets back in at some point and he can um, uh, upgrade that. Phil Deneau is next. Phil Deneau. I'm going to give him also a C. Um, it's not acceptable offense in a contract year. He's in a contract year, um, you know, that, and if you put together his remarks after the, uh, the playoffs last season where he doesn't want to be a third line center and be strictly known for his defense. He wants to contribute on offense. He knows he can, and he knows he can be better. He's not proving that right now. Now, the only reason it's not a worse grade than that is his line. If you go with, um, advanced stats, X goals, for 60 minutes for that line is they're actually I think the second best line in the league the last I saw a listing and they were the second best line in the league so you got to give him something for that but his offense is not there and uh, he's kind of inconsistent I guess and struggling so he gets a C and it's a contract year you wouldn't think this would happen uh, next up, Jonathan Drouin. I might get even eaten up here because usually I kind of come down always on Jonathan Drouin. I'm not doing that today. Jonathan Drouin to me gets an A-. I'll tell you why. 
So he's been, I wrote a beast. I don't know if he's been a beast on the four check, but he's been really strong on the four check. His playmaking has been good. Uh, people expect more goals from him, and uh, maybe he can score some more goals, but I'm not sure that he's really a goal scorer. He needs to shoot uh, more. Uh, he, he knows he needs to shoot more. Uh, he might get a few more goals. Like I see Drew in a season of 56 games like we're in, maybe getting 10 goals, 35 assists, maybe 40 assists. I think that's a great season, and uh, that's what I see. Uh, so I think he's been doing the job. Um, I didn't put his numbers here, but I, he's, got, he's got good numbers, and he's been really good away from the puck as well. Uh, next up is Jake Evans. Jake Evans has been a pleasant surprise. I'm giving him an A. He's only got two goals, but they're both shorthanded goals. He's really done the job um, on the fourth line. He was struggling at faceoffs. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I think he's quickly starting to come around, whereas he's at already at 50%, right around 50% for the season. So uh, he's really improved on there. He's very coachable. I mean, he's not a kid, right? He's 24, I think. He's not as young as you might think. Um, so he's very coachable. Uh, he's taken to that 4 C role, I think, uh, without too much problem. Um, and uh, I think he's got a higher ceiling than we might have thought. Uh, so, anyways, he's been playing well. Uh, pleasant surprise gets an A. Brendan Gallagher. I love Brendan Gallagher, but I'm giving him a B plus only for this. He has uh, he had a slow start. He is coming around now, and he's got pretty good numbers for like Brendan Gallagher numbers. Uh, nine points in 15 games. That's pretty much his. Uh, he's right there. So um, he's starting to look like he should, and I probably down the road I'll give him a better grade. But because of the slow start, I'm giving him a B. I'm probably wrong, and it should be an A minus. I realize that. Let me know what you think. Yasper uh, Kokanyemi. He's getting a B minus, and it's not to come down on KK. Remember, he's still only 20 years old. Uh, he's on the verge of showing what he's really all about, in my opinion. It's the face-offs that are holding him back for me. I think he's doing pretty good everywhere else. He's he's in a bit of a scoring slump right now. I don't think he's got points in uh, the last few games. But I still I think he's uh, on the verge of showing what he's going to be made of. Arturi Lekkinen up next. I give him a, I'm giving him a B. Uh, he's still like underwhelming on his offense, uh, but you got to remember also he's gone from third line to fourth line, so that probably has a little to do with it. Um, but he's still improving in all the other areas defensively, so he really delivers on the other side of the like, defensive side of the game. So um, yeah, I may he may even deserve a B plus, but his offense is kind of really. Um, I think he's only got four points or something like that. Anyway. He needs to pick that up if he can. And uh, next up, Corey Perry. Corey Perry. I'm giving Corey Perry a B as well. Corey Perry. Performing pretty much uh, exactly as I thought he would. Uh, three points in nine games, which, you know, that's... Uh, scoring a point every three games that's about what he's been doing you know regular season uh that'll probably go up if you know if we get in the playoffs and all that um but he's pretty much exactly um what i thought his um i want offsets oh yeah the, the his performance like uh offensively it's kind of offsets his offsets his lack of speed or i put yeah okay if I edited, that would be gone, but I don't edit, so you got to now take the last five seconds and just erase it from your memory. Um, his, um, okay, Offset's lack of speed with his hockey IQ and vision. You can still see this is a guy that was a former, you know, great player in the league, and he still has the vision, he still has the hockey IQ, he just can't keep up with the play, so he has to be very smart about it, and he's doing that. I, I'm not a Corey fan, I really never was, and I don't know, but... He's he's doing the job. So a B. Next up, Nick Suzuki. Nick Suzuki is getting an A. I was thinking A or A minus, but I think I'm going to give him an A. Um, no, it's not because he's my favorite player on the team right now. He's avoiding the sophomore jinx so far. Knockwood. He had a point uh, in each of his first seven games. I think up until game eleven, he was a point per game. He's now got 12 points in 15 games. He plays that 200-foot game, making plays like he did in the OHL, which is a great sign. He was making some really amazing plays in the OHL. He's starting to do that here, and that's that's amazing that he's able to do that and make that, that um, 
uh, adjustment or that it, that that kind of play translates into the NHL. That was one of the question marks about him. Those plays, can he do that here? And he's starting to do that. Great vision and anticipation. He plays on the PK, the power play. He is the number one C right now. The only thing to me keeping him from an A plus is his performance in the dot. Um, if he was better on faceoffs, I don't see why he wouldn't be an A plus right now. Thomas Tatar, the tuna, not having a great season. That's not a G. <laughs> C plus. No, it's not the drink. C plus. Um, He's kind of underwhelming. He's got eight points in 14 games, um, which isn't like horrible, but um, I, you know, he, it got him healthy, a healthy scratch. Does he wake up after the healthy scratch? So the next game, are we going to see a really good game again from Thomas Tatar? I suspect yes. I suspect um, it will give him a kick in the ass and we'll see. It's a contract year for him. I don't know how he's just, him and Dano contract years and they're not performing. Um, I said that was the next thing I wrote. Should be better in a contract here. So he gets a C plus. Um, still eight points in fourteen games isn't horrible, but it's not what we come to expect from Thomas Tatar. Tyler Toffoli. I was going to give him an A minus. I was talking to a buddy of mine, and I think he ended up convincing me, even though not on the phone while we were talking. But I think he ended up convincing me to give him an A. Um, lights out versus Vancouver, which we all know. Um, that was why it was going to be the A minus because it was mostly against Vancouver. But I have to admit, he's starting to spread out his offense uh, now. So um, he seems like a 200 foot player. He can play any position, uh, forward position. He's smart. He knows how to get open. He's got good vision. He's got 10, po 10 goals, five assists, and 15, po uh, 15 points in 15 games. Point to game player. Yeah, he's an A. So Tyler Toffoli gets an A. Next up, defense. Ben Sherratt. Ben Sherratt. Um, I'm not sure if I wrote here a line before the thing, if it's a minus or a... Because I usually do it on the other side, but I think I'm going to give him a B minus. Um, playing exactly as expected, really. He's got the four points in 15 games, which is Ben Sherratt numbers. Um, but he's taken some dumb penalties. So I think that's what's going to lower it. Otherwise, he's a B. Um, I don't know that Ben Schrott gets to be an A, if he's an A-type player, but I think a good solid B, B+. Plus. But right now, I think that's that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Am I wrong on that with Schrott? Uh Let me know in the comment section. Uh, Joel, uh, Joel Edmondson, that's his first name. Um, giving him a B+. Plus. And here's the reason why. Uh, his advanced stats in the defensive zone are great. He's got great, he, he takes the puck away, he stops plays. He's great in the defensive zone that way, he gets in the way. So that's one thing. That fight with uh, Tyler Myers st standing up for Yol Armia, um, that's good bonding for the team. This is something that the team needs, this guy that is willing to go out there and stand up for one of his teammates. Um, and he's been exactly as I expected him to be, except he's not as mobile as I, as I would like. He's not as mobile. Hence... He gets a B plus, not higher than that. Um, you could say maybe it should be a B. Let me know, but uh, he's getting a B plus right now for me. Brett Kulak, B minus. Uh, he's a bit inconsistent, which he usually is at the start of the season, it seems. <laughs> um, but he, he gets better usually as the season goes along, so we'll have to see if that happens. If that does, he'll get a better mark. But, I mean, they've taken him out of the lineup a couple of times. Now to put Mete in because uh, they didn't take Romanov out as a rookie because, well, they did once. But they've taken Kulak out, of, Kulak out a couple of times, maybe three times, two times, I think. Um, anyway, he's been a little inconsistent. Uh, I like the guy, but that's why he's getting the B-. There. Uh, <laughs> Victor Mete, uh, inconclusive. I can't really played three games um i can't really judge him yet on that so i'm not going to i don't think it's fair so victor mete uh, i thought his third game though was better and he's starting that's a victor mete game jeff petrie he's the one who's going to get the only a plus on the board jeff petrie a plus norris consideration if he keeps this pace point a game plus 13 Six goals in 15 games, which last year he got that in 41, six goals. So uh, he's the number one defenseman. Um, and six goals, nine assists, 15 points. 
uh, in those games, in the 15 games. That's why I'm pointing the game. He's been really good. He's been really good. He's been aggressive. Um, he's been pinching in well. He's been defending well. He's just been doing everything well. He's going to get Norris consideration if he can keep this kind of pace up. I, I mean, he's going to. He just gets better every year. And he's so steady in that good performance. Yeah, he has bad games, of course. But he's been really good. So he's getting the only A+. Alex Romanov. A-. minus. Um, part of the that he's not getting a B+, plus is he is, remember, coming over from Russia. He's only 20. Uh, maybe he's 21, but he's young. Uh, he has to adjust to North America, to the different ice, to the different style of play. And he's doing a really good job. Um, no, nobody ever thought he was going to be a high-scoring defenseman. So if you're thinking that, no, and he hasn't been. So that's not a th that's not holding him back for me. Uh, so I wrote here, sure, he makes mistakes, but he's been really good otherwise. He's a puck mover. He's a big hitter. Uh, very high ceiling defensively. Uh, offense, I think, will improve. And if he can keep it up like this... Um, I think he could be, uh, you know, in the top 10 for sure for the Calder and maybe even the, in the running for the top three. He have to play a little better, but I think he's getting up. He's up there. Uh, I'm just impressed that he hasn't, um, he's just come in and seemed kind of seamless for him. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Weber, Shea Weber. I don't know if I'm right on this one either. I'm going to give him a B plus. He's having a solid Shea Weber season. I mean, that's what he's doing. Seven points in 15 games. He's a great leader. Um, he's got that great shot. Uh, I know this year he passed uh, somebody for the uh, power play goals for a defenseman, so he's doing really well. Um, maybe it should be an A-, minus, but I think a B-plus is good. And, and Shea Weber, having a Shea Weber season. Next up, the goalies. The goalies. So we all know Jake Allen's playing really, really well. Uh, I'm giving him an A. Um, uh, absolutely what we needed, number one, to have a backup goalie that you can put in there and not be, oh no, it's the backup goalie, are we going to win? No, this guy, at least you can have confidence. Four wins and six starts. We didn't, when was the last time we got that from a backup? I don't remember. He's got a 201 goals against a 933 save percentage right up near the top of the league for uh, goalies with five plus starts. Um, he's been just as advertised. He has never had a losing uh, season. He's always had a winning record. I think that'll continue here. And um, I think he's been great uh, to have. He may be better right now than Carey Price. At the end of the season, I don't think we'll say that, but he's going to be right up there. So, yeah, Jake Allen, an A. Carey Price. This is going to be controversial, I guess, because no matter what I put here for Carey Price, it's going to be controversial. So I'm giving him a B plus. He needs to be better, we know that. Because he's Carey Price. And Carey Price is just better than this, right? Some goalies could be like this and we'd be happy, right? But not Carey Price, obviously. So he's kind of inconsistent. He's been having slow starts uh, lately. And it's been kind of a slow start league-wide for goalies as far as save percentage. This is true. It is the lowest uh, save percentage in a long time league-wide for goalies. Yes, there are goal plenty of goalies with good save percentages, so it's not an excuse, but it is true. Uh, but it's not something a, go a goalie wants to say, well, that's the reason. Uh, I don't know. You can be better. There are goalies that are better. There's no reason why you can't be. But So I'm asking, are we seeing him in his decline now? Are we seeing the beginning of his decline where he's not as good as he was all the time? But he has the point where he can be, and he can do it for stretches and all that, but he's going to have times when he's not. I think that's where we're at, the very beginning of seeing the decline of Carey Price. Not huge or anything like that, but this is the inconsistency, I think. So I, I wrote here, I hope not, but, you know, he's 33. It's going to happen eventually. His numbers are coming around now, though. Um, and in that one last one with Toronto, it, it really came back up to, um, from pretty bad, but to, uh, two, six, four goals against, which is okay. And a 901 save percentage, which is right around where league average is now, just a little under, but not far. So he's gotten it over 900. That's important. He's got to get that up a bit though. So he'll need to maintain this new coming around thing. And I think he can, and I think he will. Um, but we're going to find out. So right now I'm giving him a B plus. Special teams. Now, I broke down power play to road and home because they have much better power play on the road than they do at home, and as simple as that. 
Uh, I'm giving the road a B plus because it's been pretty good. Not great, but good. And, uh, you know, uh, that's, you know, as if they had a good power play compared to what they had last year, wow, what an improvement. So I'm giving them a B plus. Now at home, totally the opposite. They're getting a C minus because, yeah, they've gotten a couple of them at home, but not much. And they're just, I don't know what it is. So I, I've been asking this question, why is the power play better on the road than at home? What is it at home? It's not the fans in the stands because there's no fans now. So it's not that. So I don't know what it is being here as opposed to being on the road that makes it so. But that's a question they've got to answer. The PK is getting an overall a B because it's been a bit inconsistent. There's been games when it's been really good. There's been games when it hasn't been. Uh, but in general, they've been pretty, you know, being okay. Uh, but it's inconsistent. So they got to get a little bit better. I'd like to see that B. Something somewhat over 80%, not just right around 80%. Like, I like to see 82, 83% on the PK. That would be really good. Okay, we're going to do the coach and GM. So, CJ, that means Claude Julian. Claude Julian, for me, is getting a B plus. I'm probably going to get beat up. I think most people are, a lot of people are going to think that he should get worse, but... I, I don't have much complaint with him right now. What I'd like to see, though, is him adjust quicker in games. He doesn't adjust quick enough for my, uh, um, you know, and getting the team to play their game, not the other team's game. That's part of the adjustment. You get out there, you're not getting them to play your game, and you're allowing them to play the other team's game. So I'd like to see that better, but otherwise he's done a pretty good job, my opinion. Let me know in the comment section. I'll probably get beat up over that. His staff is going to get a B, I believe. Or, or, there I am. B minus. And because this, the coaching staff runs the special teams, um, and they're inconsistent. So uh, I think since the special teams are inconsistent, that they're going to get a little bit worse than, than CJ gets. Um, and then finally, Mark Bergevin, for me, gets an A. Why? He put together the team that, that they have right now. This team has great potential. Um, it wasn't perfect. I'm sure there's one or two tweaks still to go, but he put together this team. He did a fantastic job over in the off season doing that. And I think he gets an A for that. Um, and there you go. So in order not to keep it too much longer, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Think I'm nuts on some of these? Let me know which ones maybe. Um, if you agree with me, you disagree me, agree with me, let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are a Habs fan and you want to see more Habs videos like this, um, live streams, all that kind of stuff, subscribe, ring that notifications bell. That'll get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talking Habs. So let me know what you guys think about the uh, my report card. That's it. That's all. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please stay safe out there. Peace out, y'all. Gonna see you next video and next live stream. Bye, everybody.